Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing U.S. passports and specifically the idea or the prospect of getting a second U.S. passport. What do we mean by a second U.S. passport? Well, literally two different passports for the same person. So you've got passport A, which every American generally, as a matter of course, can go ahead and apply for and obtain a U.S. passport. Um, a second passport is a different situation. Why would one need one? Well, there's various reasons. For example, travel restrictions, um, countries that are either hostile or do not diplomatically recognize one another. Um, there can be some problems in traveling or transiting between a third country and getting, getting between two such jurisdictions. Um, and in those cases, sometimes a second passport is um, a benefit. Uh, one reason I've seen uh, deals mostly with expats who work in the offshore oil and gas industry out here uh, where they have to deal with a lot of visas, so especially like consultants who have to move around to various jurisdictions fairly fast. Uh, I have seen circumstances where they need two passports because they're essentially using one to be in one country while they're applying for a visa on the second one. Uh, there's an, that's another valid reason why I could see a second passport would need to be issued. Um, so there are, there are valid reasons for issuing a second passport. That being said, the United States is really not in the routine habit of issuing second passports to individuals willy-nilly. It's not, it's not something that they just sort of do as a matter of course. And the reason is, is my opinion, I think, is they're, they're trying to defer some fraud. And I can see circumstances where fraud could be an issue with respect to, to two different passports. Um, and also, I think it's a resource thing. Um, I don't know exactly what uh, the margins, for lack of a better word, are on each passport issued to an American, how much money the government retains from issuing those, but I suspect it's not a lot. And frankly, I could even see circumstances where issuing a passport might actually cost money to the government. I, I doubt much, but it's possible. Um, but, and it's also a resource strain. You know, if every person was going in trying to get a second passport on top of their first one, it would, it, would, it would cause a substantial expense of resources in terms of manpower to get all those second passports issued. So the thing to take away from this video is it's not issued um, routinely a second passport, and they want to know why you want it. Um, it's been my experience that they want to know why uh, the individual requesting a second passport is seeking it, and again, uh, if there's not a good reason for it, they're probably not going to issue it. Uh, anecdotally, I was recently at the U.S. Embassy American Citizen Services, um, and I overheard a gentleman who was trying to apply for a second passport who was subsequently denied because he didn't really have any reason for it. And the only reason I overheard him is he was being quite loud in, in his assertions that he needed one, um, but he couldn't really cite a reason as to why it was going to be necessary. Um, and I think that it's going to be circumstantial, and those officers are not just going to issue a second passport just because um, they need a reason why it's going to be issued. As I stated, there are valid reasons for issuance, uh, but failure to show one, I think, will result in being denied on an application for a second U.S. passport. 